Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and you gotta find yourself wondering once in a while, what's Lumpy Space Vargas doing lately? That's what LSV stands for, right? I never really followed the pro scene. I mean, that, that's not his first kid's last name, but they're gonna be cheated on his wife, so like, I don't know. Anyway, a while ago, Lumpy basically uh, left the Magic the Gathering scene to file false copyright claims against YouTubers uh, professionally. Oh, wait, I misread my notes. Sorry, that's later. Oh, by the way, by the way, don't try that against me. That would be a mistake. Nothing in this video is copyrighted and you damn well know it. You're not going to suppress this story. So to set the stage here, FTX, what's going on with them? Uh, if you haven't heard, wow. They were worth multiple billions of dollars. It was a garbage crypto exchange, you know, kind of like Coinbase except crap. Kind of like Binance. Okay, okay, I shouldn't dump on Binance. Some people really just like taking wheelbarrows full of money and giving it directly to the control of the Chinese government. I guess that's, some people are into that. And those people are probably the same people who lost half their money on FTX. So uh, congratulations. Keep your money in a cold wallet. There you go. Oh, if we're talking crypto news, remember that one time when I lost $110 million on crypto? Because I remember. Hell, go watch that video. It's on my channel. Yeah, I had... 110 bitcoins roughly in uh, 2010 along with a mountain of litecoins right after they came out sold them lost them couldn't store them it's a long story ended up with about 600 bucks awesome but at least the douchebag behind ftx is hopefully gonna go down with this although if you think he's gonna see a, a, a second of jail time you're insane although he did just double cross the democrats he was like the number one or arguably the number two donor um to the democratic party who are crooked lying pieces of human garbage. And so was he, because all the finances were fake. He funded a company that he let his girlfriend be the CEO of, just hired absolute morons to run everything he owned, and then it all blew up in his face. Oh, and Binance did it, because, you know, sometimes Chinese billionaires just be like that. Okay, literally anybody anywhere. Your competition, you smell blood, you go after them. That's what happened. So one press release, they were gone. How does this come back to Lumpy? Well, there's a game called Storybook Brawl, sitting at just like a solid 6 out of 10 on Steam. Total Hearthstone ripoff, go look at it. It's got a BS fluffed up pro scene. It, it's, it's garbage. It's a, a card-based auto battler. Ugh. I think it had NFTs in it after FTX acquired the company that made Storybook Brawl. So... Um, LSV worked for them, designing the game. I, I don't like programming, uh, maybe, I don't know. But certainly designing, like, the card game part of it, I would think. And, uh, he ain't exactly no Richard Garfield. I just, I can't believe that he had enough time to take out of his busy day of cheating on his wife to go work on a card game. Good for him. Too bad they sold it to FTX. So FTX just went massively, like, beyond bankrupt. Like, they were stealing money and funneling it to a second company that it was all, like, user funds that they're not really supposed to touch. That guy was a scumbag, a lunatic, and no wonder he supported the Democratic Party. The party of low-information cult member morons. So anyone who sold their company, the naming rights of their stadium, or invested money with FTX, you pretty much deserve it because you really should have looked up who this was or how they were audited. They were audited by the the first, what was it, the first CPA in the metaverse? Was it even a person? Was it an AI? Was it Mark Zuckerberg floating around with no head saying like, yeah, those books look good? Or was it just Hillary Clinton staffers? At, at this point, somebody was covering for him, okay? This is like Bernie Madoff if Bernie Madoff drove around with a bumper sticker that said, I am running a Ponzi scheme. As the British say, this is the most scuffed story I've ever covered. Boy, this one goes deep. I'm only covering it because it affects LSV negatively. And he is a terrible person who treated me poorly in the past, so... <laughs> and, uh, comes right back around to hit you, don't it? I hope you go bankrupt. I really do. Oh, feels bad, man. You know what you should do is cheat on your current girlfriend about it. It worked last time, I guess, right? Oh, wait, no, people lost all respect and ran you over to the MTG community over it. I, I think I remember that. Okay, maybe don't do that. Maybe go get a real job. Let me just read some poorly aged quotes. This is by Lumpy Space Vargas himself on March 22nd, 2022. My God, I didn't realize it was that recent. When it comes to blockchain integrations, by the way, he's talking about FTX's acquisition and um, storybook. When it comes to blockchain integrations, these are the principles we are following. One, fun comes first. Two, any integration has to be ethical and make the game better for players. <laughs> that went well. And three, Storybook Brawl will continue to be a game we are proud of and love. Oh, that aged poorly. Did I mention LSV cheated on his wife while she was pregnant with his first kid? 
I think I forgot to mention that. With Sleep Her Way to the Top Specialist, Gabby Sparts. Now, if you're wondering, since he did so suspiciously well during his magic career, if he cheated at that too, there's quite a few accusations, but not a lot of proof, but some stuff he did was really, really like immoral and shady. Very gray area, very angle shooting, you know, that kind of stuff. And everybody pretty agrees, me included, is my opinion though, that uh, that's how he got where he was. And then working for Storybrooke and selling it to FTX and adding NFTs to the game, uh, that's how he got where he is now. So, um, what did I just post in my community tab a couple days ago? Oh, that's right. The, uh, well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Well, hope I don't have to hear about you again. You really were and are a very terribly immoral person for anyone starting out in the game to look up to. And that's why I never did. And by the way, if you're wondering why I hate the pro scene so much, he's about a 4 out of 10 on the scumbagometer when it comes to uh, MTG Pro players. So uh, once again, nothing in this video is copyrighted, everything's my opinion, and I'm just reporting on what happened. So um, if you want to make the video go bye-bye on false copyright claims, I'll be happy to take the rest of your money, LSV. And I will. I have the resources and the motivation, don't f*** with me. You made your bed, now lay in it with some other woman probably. Like this video before he takes it down anyway. I look forward to my payout. I'll see you guys next video.